someone looked at me and was like, I thought you were a born again. I was a very serious minded person. Yeah. Yes, I, I already came with, I was not looking for a boy, no relationship, I was just coming to face my academics. And he said, um, I don't know how a serious minded person will have the time to make this kind of hairstyle. And I was like, who are you? And Max did on that wanted to get a note, yeah. but really, that was not just the aim. It was <laughs> to show my friends that I could just get her, you know, to come around where we were because she looks like a feminist, a raging feminist. <laughs> I'm the only female in my, um, in my house, like I have just brothers. So there's always that push to want to prove yourself, not to be taken for granted. I did not have a lot of emotional intelligence on how to speak. Uh, which is one of the, I think one of the reasons I got a lot of backlash as a student on campus. Uh, I was like, I don't want to deal with someone like this. For some kind of ideology, I don't want to have anything to do with him. But she's dealing with me now. <laughs> so even though he was one of the best in class, I was like, he's on his lane, I'm on my lane, it's fine. We're not in a relationship, but we were, we had, yeah, we were close and probably wanted that at that time. I didn't want that. Hi, um, welcome to the maiden edition of this podcast and it's called the Engineering Couple Podcast and here in this episode we're going to be talking about um, how to find love and I think of... Hey, who are you? Okay, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you see, uh, um, we just started so I'm, I'm trying to get myself accustomed. Yeah, hi. So hi, I'm Timothy Allo. Um, um, you know, I'm a mechanical engineering graduate of Bafemi Allo University. And um, uh, I finished with the first class, and I think I'm also a PhD student in the United <laughs> States of America. <laughs> I think I think it's the American way. Okay, so joining me is um, my someone I love dearly, and I wouldn't want to jump the gun with the invitation. So I'll just allow her to in, introduce herself. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for um, this. I'm grateful for this uh, platform. So my name is Ulua Gwemisola. Alo, uh, Bemi for short, G B E M I. Like that's my short form because I think a lot of people have problems with my name being too long, so people just call me Bemi, and I'm fine with it. So that's my name, and also like my lovely husband here, I'm also a first class mechanical engineering graduate of Obafemi Awolowo University, Olo, and I'm also <laughs> and I'm also doing my PhD at the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Okay, so let's pick it up. Um, I think why we are having this really is to, again, to give a background of who we are. And I think just to give you an idea of, um, you know, our input towards engineering and also the fact that we, you could be classmates, um, you could, you know, be, you know, be together and still, I think you could still find love on campus. And again, we're still going to go into a lot of things, you know, how to go around graduate school and all of mm -hmm. those um, intricate things. But let's start with um, the journey. So how would you say, how did we meet? Okay. So um, this is 2024. Yeah. So we met. So like he said, we were classmates. Um, yeah, we were classmates and we are still classmates. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At the, at, um, at OAU, that's Upper Femi Aulo University, where we did our um, undergraduate undergraduate degree. Mm -hmm. So uh, we met on campus. Yep. And since we were classmates, we had known each other since the jump. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we had known each other since that was 2014. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like about 10 years now, like where well, I knew he exists. Okay. He existed. So yeah, so but officially, officially, I think we met like we are like we always argue have this argument that the way I remember things is not the way he remembers it. Yep. So the first time I think we met mm -hmm. was um our class rep introduced us. So that was the first time that I believe we met. Nice. But I okay. think he has a different um the, the different <laughs> different view. <laughs> I wouldn't say I have a different view, really, but I think, yes, I think that was how we met. But, um, we, yeah, I think it was the introduction of um, our, our classmate. I think we should give him a shout out. <laughs> I think he's going to see this. Um, shout out to Pichon um, for, you know, I think he just said, I, I spoke with him, I must confess. I told him, oh, that, um, um, you know who are the ladies in our department. I just wanted to meet people. So he introduced me to you, I think also to Ronke at that time. And that was how we met. But, you know, obviously just class vibes. Yeah. yeah. So, so I think at the, at the time, like I was a very serious minded 
person. Yeah. Yes, I, I already came with, I was not looking for a boy, no relationship, or just coming to face my academics. And I was introduced to him. I was like, okay, fine. Hi, Timothy. You know? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm um, looking at that um, to take it further. So what are the, I, I think there's a, there's, a, there's a big part of how we met that we should discuss um, the issue of, you know, the, what happened really um so Which one? The, the incidents that <laughs> happened you know that I, I think that was what but um you know got us to talk more mm-hmm. yeah there's one aspect we say a lot um i think that's what we said on our wedding day yes um, but people did not hear did we tell people the, the the one before that one okay yeah the one that happened at the physics lab oh yeah okay I would have, I would have had to do Yeah, he likes me narrating it because I was the violent one. Yes. In the <laughs> what did he say? Incident. <laughs> Violent before? Oh. Yeah, so um, actually, in my defense, I was serious and facing my um, physics practicals. Yeah. So usually, um, for those that are not familiar with like the Nigerian school systems, and I think it's also like same thing with the American school system. Just, just to bring this in, we're going to be promoting our Nigerian school system and yeah. I think it's going to be part of our topics for people to see some of the good that is not well um, you know portrayed. explained or portrayed about yeah. Nigeria which is what I, I think we do a lot here yes yeah, I know we have problems as a country but you know I always try to let people know yeah you I know, think I, everyone has every country exactly, has problems um, it's just like different dynamics to yes. problems so you're going to see that a lot in, in this podcast as we have my episode you see the good things about Nigeria yeah mm-hmm. so let's go back to the physics. Yeah, so I'm um, trying to like paint a picture about how the physics um, lab set up. Mm-hmm. So usually we have like labs, we have courses and we have labs just yep. like here too. Yep. Yeah, so we had done like the, the class mm-hmm. um, lectures and then we were in the lab to do some experiments in the physics lab. And um, we we're in groups, like we we're divided into groups and then I was with my group doing our um, practicals. And then he happened to be the group beside me. Okay. I, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. I was beside you. Yes, you were beside me. And he came over to my group and he was, I would say, kind of taunting me. Yeah. Yes, he was taunting me because I, I will give a background to that, but let yeah, me know. So, okay. Speak. Luckily enough, I'm almost almost I'm almost on the same hairstyle as I was oh, at yeah. the time. Yeah. So I was on braids and for those for Nigerians, you know how long it takes to make braids. to make braids at least three four hours and then he came to me and was like he doesn't know how a serious-minded person i always i have that <laughs> i have I, that I, clear picture in my mind i'm at fault yes. <laughs> i, have that I clear think i learned in my mind <laughs> and he told me that i don't know how i'm quoting him directly because i kept it in my mind and he said um i don't know how a serious-minded person will have the time to make this kind of hairstyle and i was like me <laughs> so it obviously like annoyed me but i didn't i don't think i re- replied him so i still ignored him continued uh, with the practical and i think he wanted to take something he wanted to take something from yeah. my table or something and that was when i grabbed hold of his hand and okay i think i still kind of have long nails so you can see I have, my nails are kind of long i love like having my nails long and then i i pinched him until he began to bleed yeah yeah so that was what happened that, that's for the record you know <laughs> um yeah so just to give you a background i think because of the you know how I, I was brought up um from a very conservative background and i think it still plays a role in how i engage right now and so you know you we felt like for you to be um, for you to be on campus. Yeah, the whole idea when I came to campus was to come and read mm-hmm. and all of that. So I felt, oh, you know, I think I, I cannot forget this. My my dad gave me four pa- pairs of trousers and I think four shirts. Um, I think everything was just four, really. Four shirts, four pairs of trousers and underwears just in fours to show you that you're going there, you know, probably wear one twice a week mm-hmm. and that's for eight days and then yeah. you wash it on a Saturday. And you should just so you should just focus on why you went to school, mm. and so I I felt like come on how would somebody have time to make so much you know <laughs> <laughs> to make such hairstyle and that was why I went um, and and I spoke that way and yeah. you know I I got I got a fair share of what I needed to get, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think that was before any of our exams or tests. Yeah, it was yeah. before yeah. And you know I I think she proved herself. Um, when you know we had our first results i think it was a test and i think we i scored 2020 
it, it was over 20 and I scored 20, 20. Uh, yeah, for the American audience, it's not it's not designed to get all. You're, you're not designed to get all the credits. I think that's the way to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So for you to get all the credits, you know, I know here is designed for you to get the best of the credits. And um, but for your assignments, or the homeworks can be tasking. But arts, our educational system is not designed for you to get everything. So to see someone, a group of people who got everything, you know, it, it made sense. So I said, oh, who is this lady? And I think that was how, you know, we had further conversations. But I just have to just say this, you know, I, I had a conservative background. So I felt like, come on, how would, you know, a, a part one student, <laughs> who, who is she doing that to impress? Like, <laughs> and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think the thing to take home from, from all of this is our, our background. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think, yeah, perception actually matters a lot yes. because even aside from that, so you know what happened before we, I think we were supposed to resume July or something. Mm-hmm. And then we went home for a strike. Yes. And then we came back. For about a year. Yeah. So um, the first time we resumed, I did um, Kiko. Kiko is, I think maybe when this video is edited, you can put like a picture of Like a Kiko. braids or something. Yes. So Kiko is like using um, rubber to plait your hair. Mm-hmm. So I had Kiko on, which is attributed to being conservative yes yeah so i had that on and like people that saw me were like oh maybe she's one of the conservative ones and then when we went on a strike and we, i came back with braids mm-hmm. and someone looked at me and was like i thought you were born again i was like, <laughs> I was like okay like how does braids have to do with yeah yeah, yeah so your face so i think that was maybe because we had met initially so maybe you had seen me in the kiko yeah and in the um, threads and then you're like okay and then you saw me again. I'm like, okay, why? That maybe something something happened. <laughs> you didn't, didn't. And I think at, at that point in time, which is something I think I've been working on for years now, is uh, I I did not have a lot of emotional intelligence on how to speak, uh, which is one of the I think one of the reasons I got a lot of backlash as a student on campus. Uh, but nowadays, I think I tend to take a back seat, look at how you feel when I speak, you know, just look at how conversations can get better. Um, which is why we are having this for us to see how you know, there's always a growth growth process, yeah. Um, which it takes two to make. Um, so just just on the background, so we um, after the physics lab, yes. Um, so eventually it got we, yeah, we it got heated. We didn't speak for we didn't speak throughout the semester. Yes, course. yes. I was like, I don't want to deal with someone like this for someone who has kind of ideology. I don't want to have anything to do with him. But she's dealing with me now. <laughs> So even though he was one of the best in class, I was like, he's on his lane, I'm on my lane, it's yes. fine. Okay. fine. Yeah, so it was until, I think it was second semester, mm-hmm. when your dad, okay, so he lost his dad in, that was 2014 too, or 2015. I think it's 2015. 2015, 2015. Yeah. Yeah, so when his dad died, and then um, we had a class group page, a WhatsApp group page, and then, and I think it was, I think it was me that was asking the questions that day. I was saying that okay, can we share like any bad thing? Yeah, I don't know what I don't know why that came to my mind, but I just I think we were bored at home. I, I, no, we're I think we're on campus. Are you sure? Were we at because home? we had just finished the exam. Le- my dad died it? at the exam period. I did oh, yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. We were at home. Yeah, yes, I it was, was after at the end of the semester. I was yeah. playing the hard guy. Oh, it yeah. was our first um I think it was our first sem- that was our second second, second year. Sem- Second year. Oh no, no. First year, second semester. Second semester, yes. 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 So, yes. That was, so yeah, we okay, yeah, we're doing exams. We are I, I remember where I was. I was in my living room, I was sitting mm-hmm. on the couch and then I was bored. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, Oh, let's share what because I remember too, I think I was lying on the floor. <laughs> Um, you know, obviously, I I, st- I I I still love to do that. Yeah. Really. I just like laying on the floor, and so I just saw the message, and you know, I was like, let's. See. I think some people were like, okay, what can we talk about? And I was like, let's share whatever bad has happened to us. Yes. I don't know why it was bad news that came to my mind. And then he t- he mentioned that he lost his dad. I was like, oh, see, the person has been mean to. <laughs> so, so I said, let me slide into his DMs and apologize. Yeah, for uh, and, p- for pinching him uh, and the love. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I, I I sent him a direct message. I said, "Oh, I was sorry for what happened," and he said, "Okay, it's fine. Let's move forward." I was like, "Okay, it's fine." So by the time we got into our second year, so we're already on the yeah, like a the good stage, yeah. We're yeah. The doctor, I think we chat, we chatted like almost throughout a few that time, yes. yeah, a few times. Yeah, so it was 
Yeah. So just as we want to also do for this podcast is to look at what are the life lessons we could have learned because mm-hmm. um, looking back now, I, 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 tr- I try to look back and say, oh, for me, I, I should not have spoken that way, really. You and know? I should not have reacted that way either. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think at that time I was a quote unquote raging feminist. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I, I was very. I was please very... note it. <laughs> a raging feminist. Yeah, a raging one. So I was. I think I was. Um, I'm the only female in my uh, in my house. Like mm-hmm. I have just brothers. So there's always that push to want to prove yourself, not to be taken for granted so like when he said that i was like okay i'm going to show this person that <laughs> he cannot speak to me that way but now i've calmed down so yeah, yeah, yeah. i feel uh, like i'm more rational and then i'm just there are a lot of things i would have overlooked i should have overlooked yeah. but i think i think it all worked out well <laughs> yes yes I, I think with age and some of the experiences we've had over the time um it has shown that you know you just have to sit back now and, and I, I think that's what I think I made a post recently about that. That age should give you that yes. time to now look back and say, okay, I should, you know, I should do better. We're not there yet. We mm. would still make some flaws, obviously, but yeah. you know, it's, it should just give us that time to grow. So back to um, discussion. So now that is the background. Um, so let's fast forward to how we got into the elaborate talking stage. How I think I, I was the one who engineered that. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to also give a background because some of my friends should see this. Uh, uh, they would see this, and you know, I, I remember I and some guys we had a discussion, and you know, that's when we had seen our results. We know that okay, we know people who are doing well in in class and in school, and then obviously my wife was on the list, and so oh, this lady who is doing well, and so you know, it now looks like there's that ideology that the mm-hmm. uh, lady who is doing well it, it means she does not have time for any guy oh so i said okay um due to that i, I just said okay i'm, I'm gonna take a challenge to be her friend <laughs> and try to you know just because it's it, it looks that way she looks like a feminist um everyone is just you know you're just tipping to around her not to she had a, i think you had mm. she was dating around that time but yes. but let me allow her do all of that so <laughs> you know what you were doing at that time and um how so i, I will come in with you know, understanding other things. But at that time, especially in that was our part, our second year. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I was actually dating at part four. In part I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that is going to see this. No, it's fine. I'm grown. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm married now. Oh, yeah. 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 So, the, yeah. So uh, at that time, I was dating, I dated someone in um, 100 level. That was our first year, second semester. So, but we broke up during about <laughs> funny enough, it was around that time when we started talking. Mm-hmm. It's not like I, I didn't break up because of you, okay? Because obviously, I, wasn't, I had, but had there's a grace, really. No, I, I had I had nothing, I didn't like I had feelings for him or something, but, but, but there was a grace around that. I so. think uh, the reason I broke broke up with him, I, I'm not sure I gave him a reason, that reason. I just told him I was not interested, but the reason on my mind was. My um, CGPA went down okay. because I think he, the relationship was distracting. Mm-hmm. I don't want to blame him. Like obviously, I was, no, you, you I was can't involved. Blame him. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I, the whole relationship was distracting, and I was like, okay, I don't want to um, associate myself mm-hmm. with him and like his friends okay. because I felt like there was a distracting factor in my life that caused my G, uh, CGPA to go down, and I was like, obviously. First class was the goal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, to be a first class. exactly. So I was like, okay, this is not going to help me um, going forward. And I think at that, at the time, his friends were discussing. I was like, oh, they would like us to read together in two hundred level. I was like, read together, like see what see what happened when we read together this time. So I was like, no, it's not going to happen again the second time. So I just told him I was not interested. Da 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 da. Let's go our separate ways so, because I was like, okay, even if I don't have like a reading partner yes like to at least read together i didn't want somebody else to come and distract me like i'll let me just face my books that was the that, that was, was the my, goal yeah. and heaven <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so uh, around that period so i i just i think we you know i spoke with some friends and we we're just having a discussion um and so yes it, it came up whether I want, you want to date and all of that that's obviously a college guy and so i said okay let me just speak with this lady and I, I wanted just, I wanted for her to be a reading partner and a friend and 
So we, it was more like I took the challenge mm-hmm. that I was going to, you know, speak with her. And so I, I just sent her a text. I, I can't forget that evening. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I Max did on that. I wanted to get a note, yeah. but really, I, that was not just the aim. It was also to show my friends <laughs> that oh, confessing. yes, I, it was to show my <laughs> friends that I could just get her, you know, to come around where we were because I think we took our time. We went Australia. Yes, and so we go further away from where we were. I think it's the Adjuster Building. That's where we used to read. Yeah. I I think I can call, I give a shout out to Donald, uh, <laughs> my very good friend. I think we still speak, but, you know, he, then we did almost everything together. We were at our hall for those who are OAU students. And and so we, we you know, and we we're sitting together. And so when I told him, you're going to come, oh, how am I going to bring that lady over? And so you, I, I don't think you knew that when you came, he was downstairs. We met upstairs mm-hmm. i think that was when they were doing the renovation and there was light at some point there was light you know, that, that's key and so he was downstairs and you know so we just had to uh when and so i and i got you down and so she came to give me the notes and then we just took it i was a good person yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i left my hostel to give him notes. <laughs> actually i think that time i was because i was squatting mm-hmm yeah, okay. it's not it's not legal to squat actually. So yes. because I was squatting, I was just looking for any excuse excuse. excuse. So I was looking for <laughs> it's fine. If... Okay. So we'll come back up because I was squatting and pick it up from there. Okay. One, two. Okay. Yeah, so at the time I was squatting at um a residential hostel. And um, I was looking for every excuse to leave the hostel. So when you said, come to adjust, I was like, oh, finally, somewhere to go. Because okay. I was like, I didn't ha- really have that many friends. Things were working. <laughs> I didn't have that many friends. Like if, if I had had maybe friends or it was just my ho- um, my space, my personal space, I would not have maybe wanted to come out. But um, he's, when he said, okay, could you come to adjust? I was like, okay, finally, somewhere else to go that is not my room. So I, so I left and I took that sacrifice to okay. come and give him the notes yeah so uh, so uh, but my intention yes i wanted to get the notes but i think the intention was just for us to talk and, and i think we got talking really yeah, i think uh, i remember when i brought him to you like okay can we just have a discussion yeah, like, yeah. okay yeah and you know there was a future i saw you know <laughs> future. It, it was, you know, we see we see into the future mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but just to you know so we don't you know elongate this as much um, so that's i think that was the background of how we met um, and we got talking and I, I i don't know if we want to go into some of the details but you know a lot has changed on both sides our ideologies towards life um and you know there are a lot of people who, who have played an active role and one of which we're going to speak about you know one of the greatest um influence we've had yeah. you know in ideologies and how we see life and you know so the, the truth about it is we've grown yes and then it's it's been a conscious effort effort to see ourselves do something good so the vision from that conversation we had that night i think the key thing there was it was more of a partnership to yeah there's to. there's a word that he he used that time i don't know whether i was trying to just use it to to bring me to his side but he used the word synergy yes and i was like oh that's what i need for i need it not in a like a partner. I was only really looking for like a relationship or something. I was like just in a reading partner. I was like, okay, finally someone to force to read together. And I think uh that time someone told me, like, just like all these like senior colleagues, just saying, okay, make sure you are friends with your classmates because you cannot do this journey, this five year journey alone. I was like, okay, he's my classmate. It's also friends with someone in the elect. And also, like, Donald was good in programming. Yes. I was like, good. okay, fine. This is a good opportunity. <laughs> so I was not really thinking about him, actually, even though he was thinking about something, but I had no, something no, no. else. I think in, basically it was just about you know, studying. Yes, yeah, so about studying. Because as I said, my background, you know, you're not, you're, I, I couldn't even say it at home that I was planning to date someone. Yeah. I could not say it at home. I, I think probably my mom might you know out of mother's love but you know that that was not the plan really so it was just for synergy and you know we came from saying from where you know you're trying to look for someone who is better than you Mm. or someone who would you know complement your efforts to get better and it was in my second year i think after the first semester i knew um 
you know, because of the, it, it got obvious that we were going into our departments and, you know, we needed more people yes. from the department to help us, to just help, you know, most of my friends were from other departments. Yeah. So it was a bit distracting for me, you know, sometimes I sit down with elect elect. I think many of them were from elect elect, likes yeah. of Moe, Donald, I think David was from computer. computer. Yeah. So those were my key friends. And so I just knew that, you know, come on, it's, and we had a lot of mechanics courses. And mm. I think I was more drifting to other courses, leaving my own course yes. to suffer. And so I just knew there was going to be a shift. Though it, it eventually looked like it was because we started dating. <laughs> yeah. like no one knew we, were, we had that synergy um, until our third, third year. Yeah, yeah. Until our third year, where I think it became obvious that we were, you know, we were twins. I uh, used <laughs> that on campus. Yeah, I think that when we were living together, it was not like we were doing everything together at, yeah. at a 200 level. Yes. It was just like, Okay, I think maybe 5 p.m. was our reading time or something. Yes. And we just meet, read, read, and then go. Obviously, in the reading, it used to be yeah, discussion, yeah, discuss okay. never some, some other things, but it was just primarily reading at the point. I, I know the funniest thing was if any of us would have tried to date someone else, you know, you might have, you know, it might have got someone <laughs> angry. No, no it, I think it was mutual. Yeah, it will have got someone angry. Like, why are you trying to date someone? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so it we're not in a relationship, but we were. We had to, yeah, we were close and probably wanted that at that time. I didn't want that. You did. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh, should I bring the receipts? <laughs> okay, so um, in the next episode, we're gonna talk more about you know engineering and how it's you know you know how we got into looking more at understanding our goals and our visions mm -hmm. and it, it was something we sat down and we planned for yeah. we planned for its way so it's and that is what i think that's the whole essence of this podcast to actually see how to plan for things it should you know yes we're in this world you know many things can happen over time but you know as two people it could also be so we're not making it to look like it has to be a man and a woman Mm -hmm. you know it could be two friends and then you define okay this is what this is the goal yes. yeah because i think for us what kept us going uh, like as at um the time we were undergraduates was that the goal was we were planning to we're working towards yeah. making a first class i think we we're both not in the first class range at the time yes. so like okay this is the goal i think i I think even after school i see had where we wrote down yes, the, we wrote down yeah, our, the, plans. our plans and then our the rules guiding us. Yes, yes, yes. We had rules, really. <laughs> yeah, we had rules guiding us. So we wrote Even to very funny things. Yeah. Like, <laughs> when, when, when I read it, I was... <laughs> when I read it recently, I was like... I think our, our parents <laughs> will be proud of us when they watch this and see we had rules. So yeah. it, many of the things that we did not do, um, it, it wasn't out of not doing it. It's out of the fact that we plan not, not to do to it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying, you know, we're perfect with some of the rules because we must be sincere. <laughs> Some of you went, but I think the key ones that would affect getting a first class, mm -hmm. and that is why, like, we did. I think for for us, we like we didn't want anything to get in the way, yes, of making a first class because you know, like, have, having sex is going to complicate things, yes. it's going to like we didn't just want that, yes. So it was just like, okay, this is the goal, and these are the things that we will do and not do, yes, to ensure that we're going to reach this, this, goal. this goal, yeah. So it's, it's really clear, and it should be key. You know, yes, we live in a world where people, you know, just take some things lightly. And I'm not going to talk, there'll be ex exceptions, mm -hmm. you know, those who did it and it worked out for them. But I think largely, you know, just have things you don't want to do. Something that would guide you. That's why every country will have constitutions and mm -hmm. all of that. And which would guide you, which eventually you would now, you know. I think, you know, when we got married and, you know, we got, you know, as, as the Bible would say, you know, we, we are Christians, so we use the Bible. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm not saying again, I'm not pushing whatever on a Muslim audience, but I, I'm just giving a sight to what I wanted to say. And, you know, the Bible will say we knew each other. And so I, I told my friend that when we knew each other, I, that, that's, that, that should be sex. And <laughs> I told him, I, I told a friend, I said, wow, I'm happy we did not do this in school because it, it would have brought about a lot of you know, issues around stuff. So it's just good. And that is what we're trying to show to see the plans we had in place and how God helped us. Um, we yes. must put that. God helped us to keep towards, to, to keep to those plans, you know, to bring about where we are today. And um, 
you know, I think this was the goal, really, um, as people would say, to probably do a master's and a PhD. Yes. Um, and so that was, I, I, I remember when, I, I have to say this as we round off this session, when we got called, you know, in our, was it our part three, mm-hmm. that our part advisor called us. Um, shout out again to engineer Dr. Fadairo um, from Obafemi Aulo University in Mechanical Engineering. And he called me and said, um, Timothy, this is one of our best ladies. Um, in the department, I'll say it in Yoruba, <laughs> <laughs> and that what that means really is that she shouldn't get pregnant because it's gonna impede, yeah, because we're so, we're so close, yes, we're really close. I mean, you could just it, it's it would be a mirror to people to say we did not, it's it, it we're really that close, you know. And then we're gonna talk on some touch on some other things where we read and um, using the facility in school, the library, and you know, so sometimes you look back and say, come on, that, it was really beyond <laughs> natural because we're really that close. But everyone, you could just know that these people are Exactly. Together. It's yeah. like when when you see uh, me, you're already looking around that, okay, Timothy must be close well, by. <laughs> yeah, so, but I just think the, the key thing to take from this is to set a goal. I, that's it. I think our generation should, you know, sit back, set a goal, and then look at ways to attain that goal. Mm-hmm. It's, don't let people on social media deceive you with oh where well, that school is a scam and stuff like that. But, you know you can still and you know, I think we're going to touch on other things we respect. And so just join us in this journey. Um, it's going to be an exciting one. Um, we're going to have uh, the first season. We'll have the second season. And we trust that we'll do this over and over again. Again in the next episode. I'll see you there. Stay blessed. Thank you. Bye.